limitations. Judges 6, verse 15. But Lord Gideon replied, How can I rescue Israel? My clan is the weakest in the whole tribe of Manasseh, and I am the least in my entire family. So the question is now, how does God want us to view our limitations? Understand our limitations are opportunities for God to work. I will be with you, God told Gideon, and God promised to give him the strength he needed to overcome the opposition. In spite of this clear promise for strength, Gideon made excuses, seeing only his limitations and weaknesses. He failed to see how God could work through him. Do you see your limitations? Do you have excuses? Understand that there is no limit to God's power. There is absolutely nothing that God cannot do, even in your situation. Our limitations are opportunities to trust God. Like Gideon, we are called to serve God in specific ways. Although God promises us the tools and strength we need, we often make excuses. But reminding God of our limitations only implies that he does not know all about us or that he made a mistake in evaluating our character. Don't spend time making excuses. Instead, spend it doing what God wants. Our limitations are not God's limitations. I want you to say that. My limitations are not God's limitations. After seeing the miracle of the wet fleece, why did Gideon ask for another miracle? Perhaps he thought the results of the first test could have happened naturally. A thick fleece could retain moisture long after the sun had dried the surrounding ground. Putting out fleeces is a poor decision-making method. Those who do this put limitations on God. They ask him to fit their expectations. The results of such experiments are usually inconclusive and thus fail to make us any more confident about our choices. Don't let a fleece, but in our case, don't allow circumstances, limitations, situations beyond your control to dictate the ability of God. God has no limitations. And what is impossible with man is more than possible with God. For with God, all things are possible. I want you to say that with me. With God, all things are possible. Not a few things. Not a couple of things. But all things. Believe that today. Know that with God, it's possible. Believe it.